Brainworks. 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 The show where we learn all about the brain. With me, Naga in the Brain. Hi, welcome to Brainworks. My name is Eric Chudler. I'm a neuroscientist in the Department of Bioengineering at the University of Washington. I'm also the executive director of the Center for Sensory Motor Neural Engineering. What all that means is that I'm really interested in learning about the brain. Brainworks was started about eight years ago when I wanted to find a new way to help people learn about the nervous system. So I thought, why not make a TV show? So far, we've made three episodes. The first episode was a general program about how the brain works and some of its functions and its anatomy. And that was great, and it did get nominated for a Northwest Emmy. The second show we made was on sports-related concussions. And in that episode, we learned about how important it is to wear helmets and some of the problems that can happen to kids when they play sports. And the third episode, which was about how exercise affects the brain, was, was great. And, and we used some of the same kids as we used in the second one and it was nominated and it won a Northwest Emmy Award in 2017. So these three episodes have really been a, a great way to show some of the different ways that the, the brain works, some of the problems that it has. And the next episode that we want to make is all about brain computer interfaces and how important they are and some of the issues that are brought up when we use implanted devices into brains. And so with your help, we can really make a great program about this new cutting edge line of research that will really give kids an idea about what the future holds for them. The cost of developing BrainWorks is covered by a number of different ways. First, the Dana Foundation has been very generous in providing us with a, a little bit of money to get us started. But there are a lot of costs that are behind the scenes that aren't covered. For example, there are pre-production costs, the development of the show. There's also a lot of post-production costs, things like the audio and the graphics that have to be added. BrainWorks is a great device to bring neuroscience and brain research to kids. Uh, we, BrainWorks is a, is a fun show. It shows kids uh, that are working to learn more about how the brain works. The kids in the show can actually be thought of as role models. They're the same age as the, as the viewers, as the kids that are watching. It's a fun way to learn about their nervous system. It's a great way to disseminate information on, on a wide basis. Uh, and I think it just by showing that science is fun, it gets kids interested in learning. There's a few reasons why kids should know about why their brains work and how their brains work. First, they're all learning about nervous system and biology in school. Uh, schools often don't uh, teach nervous system. Uh, a lot of teachers are not prepared to, to teach their students because they're not trained uh, and they don't learn about nervous system themselves, the teachers. So by creating a resource that's external to the school environment, we can create resources that will help kids learn about the brain. So it will help them in their schoolwork. They'll be able to take this information and perhaps learn about it in school more and become those scientists of the future. Brainwork.